Well, hey guys, in today's video, I have some updates for you with regards to monkeypox. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed. If you like skincare content from a board certified dermatologist, hit the little bell notification because that's going to alert you when my videos go live. Definitely give me a follow over on TikTok and Instagram because I'm very consistent with skincare content on those platforms as well. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard that we've been seeing an increased number of monkeypox cases here in the US as well as around the world. Now on May 23rd, I posted a video here on YouTube all about the signs of monkeypox, the skin rash. However, a lot has changed and the new 2022 outbreak with the increased number of cases that we're seeing, they actually look different than prior outbreaks in the past. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how monkeypox 2022 is looking different from prior cases of monkeypox in the past. First of all, what is monkeypox? Monkeypox is a contagious disease caused by a virus. This virus has been infecting humans since the 70s, primarily in Africa where cases most commonly occur. In the US and Europe where we're now seeing a lot of cases, previously we weren't seeing cases too often and it was pretty much rare. Signs and symptoms of monkeypox. Now during past outbreaks, as I outlined in my last video, monkeypox typically presented with a fever and a flu-like illness and then the development of a rash occurred starting on the face and spreading to the rest of the body. The rash of monkeypox are these little bumps that can go on to be blisters and pus bumps. And an individual typically had hundreds of these little bumps, usually you know around 200 bumps all over the body. This time in 2022, the rash of monkeypox is looking different. Many cases, there are just a few bumps, not the hundreds to two hundreds of bumps that we were used to seeing in the past. Sometimes there's no fever and there are no symptoms of a flu-like illness. And in many cases, now in 2022, the rash of monkeypox is starting out in the groin area, the genitals, or around the anus. And in many cases, the rash, the spots of monkeypox are staying in the original location where they first erupt, as opposed to spreading to other locations on the body. People might only have one or two bumps. The bumps look like a blister, they can be filled with pus, or they can be an open sore. Even though there may only be a few bumps, this rash can actually be very painful. If you have developed a rash, I highly suggest you see a board certified dermatologist. There are so many rashes that you don't want to jump to false conclusions that you have monkeypox. You could be missing something else. It's best to see a dermatologist for evaluation and management. So how exactly do we as dermatologists diagnose this rash? It's going to be based on appearance. It can look like other common rashes. It can look like herpes. It can look like uh, shingles or it can look like chicken pox, but the arrangement, the grouping, the location, and the history, it's gonna help in making the diagnosis. Next up, we can take a swab of the rash and send it off to a lab for something called polymerase chain reaction or PCR test. And that PCR test can tell us if in fact it is monkeypox. How long does monkeypox last? Monkeypox typically lasts anywhere from two to four weeks. That is how long it takes for it to run its course. But until the bumps completely go away, a person who has monkeypox is contagious. How do you catch monkeypox? You catch monkeypox by close contact with someone who is infected. If someone has monkeypox, you can catch it from them through close skin on skin contact, whether that be um, cuddling, kissing, or sexual intercourse. You can get it from touching the rash or the scabs. If you touch an object that an infected person has used, like uh, dirty clothing, washcloths, towels, bed linens, you likewise can get infected. You also can get monkeypox through prolonged face-to-face -face close contact because it can be spread by respiratory droplets, although this mode of transmission is pretty rare and uncommon. If a pregnant woman has monkeypox, it can be transmitted to the child through the placenta. You can also get monkeypox through an infected animal. Animals infected with monkeypox are pretty common in Central and Western Africa, specifically certain types of wild roads rodents commonly carry monkeypox and you can get it by handling them if they bite you, scratch you, uh, if you handle their dead carcass, eating meat from these animals, or if you happen to use a product that was made from an infected animal. Is there a vaccine to prevent monkeypox? 
Currently in the US, there are two FDA licensed vaccines that may prevent monkeypox, the smallpox vaccine. Smallpox vaccination, if you were vaccinated, you may have some protection. In theory, it may offer about 85% protection from monkeypox. Uh, we used to vaccinate against smallpox, but stopped in 1972 with the eradication of smallpox. So most people under the age of 50 have not been vaccinated for smallpox. But if you have, it may offer some protection. However, it's not a guarantee in prior outbreaks in years past. Uh, some people who contracted monkeypox were in fact vaccinated with the smallpox vaccine and still got it. So it's not a guarantee, but it may offer some protection. There's also a, another vaccine, Imavune, uh, that's currently of limited supply. Now, to what extent either of these is going to actually prevent the current outbreak? We won't know that. Uh, we don't have that data yet. As it stands now, the CDC is only recommending vaccination for certain high-risk groups, and maybe if you've been exposed. Can you prevent it otherwise? There are certain things that you can do to prevent monkeypox. First of all, avoid close contact with someone who is infected. Do not touch the rash or the scabs of someone who has monkeypox. Don't handle their bedding, linens. Don't do their laundry for them. Don't wash their washcloths. Don't share a washcloth. Don't share eating utensils or cups with someone who has monkeypox. Never underestimate the power of hand hygiene. Of course, be sure you are washing your hands with soap and water or using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. If you are traveling or live in Central or Western Africa, avoid contact with potentially infected animals. These are largely going to be wild rodents. You can definitely get it from eating or handling those, so avoid those if you live in or will be traveling to Central or Western Africa where it is endemic, meaning there all the time. What do you do if you come down with monkeypox? Definitely see a board certified dermatologist for confirmation. Uh, but if you do come down with monkeypox, you are gonna wanna isolate yourself uh, until it has run its course. If you live with other people, you're gonna wanna stay isolated from them so that you don't transmit it to them because you are contagious. You wanna isolate in a separate room away from people and away from your pets. Can you give this to your pets? Theoretically, you can. Definitely to certain small rodents. Whether or not dogs and cats can get this is unknown. Um, but at this current time, it is recommended that if you are infected with monkeypox, that you isolate from your pets, from other animals, as well as from other people. All right, y'all. So interesting how viruses evolve and change over time. The rash that I learned about of monkeypox in my residency, I never actually thought I was going to see in real life. And now it's completely different from what I learned about and how it's presenting. That's just very interesting how diseases and disease processes evolve. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys in pointing out how the current outbreak is looking different in terms of the skin rash, what to look for. And uh, let me know in the comments if you or someone you know has come down with monkeypox, how has it gone for you? Uh, and if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.